Captain's on fire to take a walk. I'm amazed I could get him to stop catching bugs for five minutes. We're leaving Acetique today. It seems like maybe he has somebody he wants to like say goodbye to or something he wants to see before we go. He's just barreling down the road. He took me all the way out to the main road. I'm just along for the ride. I have no clue what he's after. He's definitely headed for something. Oh, look at that little guy. Wow, I haven't seen him before. I haven't seen any babies. He's so cute. Okay, there they go. Oh, there's one of the camp hosts. They're going to hate us for not being packed up yet. Oh my god, the baby. Everybody came over here. Nancy is asleep inside that tent. She doesn't even know there's horses out here. And she's kind of scared of the horses. I saw a video where horses, like, tried to, or they did, they got in a tent. I don't know if I should wake her up. Oh, wow, the little one, he looks like he's looking for a way in. I don't know if I should do something. Well, he's kind of backing off. I don't know. Oh, oh no, where's that one going? I left my paint out. No, no, you don't want that. We don't want a red painted horsey. Oh, here comes that other camp host with a spray bottle and a shaker. I bet he wishes he could get me to leave like that. driving home I gave you my review of Azatig Island National Seashore Campground. I mean, not a review exactly, just kind of a little bit of a pro and con. Although, okay, not con exactly, but just things that you should probably be prepared for if you're going to go there. And also just some of the most asked, the frequently asked questions that people ask me about pretty much every place I go. The number one most asked question. It's number one. And it's also number two. And that's your hint. Yep. Bathrooms. That's the number one thing I get asked. And also showers. So these white stalls here, those are the showers, and they're great showers. I was pretty impressed. Uh, the round thing next to them, that's the porta potty. And I didn't use it at all because I had my own setup, but um, Nancy used it. She said it was clean. You know, I mean, she didn't rave about it, but it's a porta potty. It's basically a pit toilet. It's fine. The second thing that I get asked about, well, I guess it's number three since number two was number two. Um, number three is the internet. People always want to know if I had a signal there, and I did. I had a decent signal. I could get online. I could do everything I needed to do, and I use the Verizon network and the AT&T network, basically, because my hotspot is through Visible, which uses the Verizon towers, and my phone is AT&T. So I'm kind of using both at the same time. Nancy has Metro PCS, and she could make and get phone calls, but she couldn't get any text until we went into town. Speaking of going into town, that's one of the things I think that is great for some people and not great for others is you're pretty close to town. Because Nancy camps in a car, we were able to do to go into town a couple times and it was nothing special, but I think if we weren't having a pandemic, there would have been more to do. There's like a little raceway and there's a little amusement park and we got ice cream and we went to Dunkin' Donuts. That's what we did. Some people don't like to be that close to town, so if you're a backwoodser, it's not the place for you. Campsites are really close together. If you're used to like BLM land, you're used to being in the desert where you can really spread out. It's not like that. It's more like a traditional campground where you've got a neighbor right next to you. But we lucked out because the campsite next to us, that's between us and the restrooms, was empty pretty much the whole time. And you know, it's COVID. So somebody paid for it because they were sold out, but they, I guess they just decided not to come. And then on the other side of us, we had this amazing field the horses really loved. So I think we got a lot more horse action probably than most of the spaces do. We didn't have an ocean view, but we did have a horsey view. 
And speaking of the ocean view, anytime I can be near the ocean, I'm happy. But the thing is, there was no lifeguard and there's all these signs talking about um, there being a pretty good current. So I didn't go swimming. <laughs> of course, I forgot to bring a bathing suit too, so that didn't help any. And um, supposedly there's surfing. I don't know if they're surfing right there at the beach at the campground, but I didn't see anybody surfing. The surf was so close to shore and so small, you couldn't have surfed it where we were. But it's possible that over on the, the more you know, consumer beach, I call it, you know, right we're on the consumer beach as opposed to the camper beach, there might have been surfing. I don't really know. The ocean is always a plus for me, but it brings with it a couple cons. Sand and wind. And because the campsites are on sand, it makes it a little more intense than usual. Um, so I think I will probably be taking sand out of every crevice on the bus for the next several weeks probably every crevice of me as well. I'm coated with sand, the bus is coated with sand, inside and out, captain's coated with sand. If sand is something that bugs you, you should be prepared for that before you come. Speaking of bugging you, the bugs. The bugs are probably the single biggest con of this place. There are a lot of different kinds of bugs. I mean, there are a lot of critters. There's these beautiful red-winged blackbirds that I was trying like crazy to get shots of, but they don't really sit still for pictures. Um, but the bugs, yeah. I mean, the serious bug problems, you kind of break down into two buckets. There's the mosquitoes and there's the horseflies. The mosquitoes, I think, are more dangerous. They carry more diseases and things, but the horseflies are really, really painful. Like, mosquitoes, boom, they sting you. You don't really notice it, maybe, until the next day, and then you see that little welt. Horseflies, they bite you. You feel their little teeth. I don't even know if they have teeth, but it feels like they bite you with little teeth. You know, Arr! That's what the horse flies do. I should have been prepared for this. I read up on it. I saw that there were all these bugs. I brought every kind of bug repellent you can wear on your skin. DEET, uh, Skin So Soft. I even put Vicks Vapor Rub on my wrists and elbows, which works great at Brimfield, but these mosquitoes did not care. These horse flies really did not care. I would say that they were probably in the bus. I'm gonna say there were 500 flies in the bus. And I'm probably exaggerating, but there were a lot of flies. Captain loves them because he got to chase them all weekend. I think I, he likes it. I can't tell if he likes it or hates it, but anyway, chased a lot of flies. Caught a few, not too many. Now, what could you do to not have flies? Well, don't leave your screens in your mother's shed like I did. Bring your screens. Put screens on the window, screens on the door. See, I like to have everything just wide open, but there's times when you just don't want that. And this is one of them, I think. There's probably a couple hundred flies in the bus right now that are going back with me. I hear the best time to avoid the bugs is fall. So you might want to try just scheduling a little better than I did. So with all these things, with the bugs, which are a deal breaker for a lot of people I know, and the sand, and the wind, and the close togetherness, and all that, was it worth it? Yes. Why? because of the horses. The horses are why we came. But the horses are not very well behaved. They do what they want and they own the place. They look at you as a source. But they don't always look like they're looking at you that way. So they're walking around looking friendly like Mr. Ed and you don't realize that you can't trust them. So I'm around, I'm only here for like that one night when they came and hung around at the campfire, the way that one little guy looked at me, I knew if I didn't take a couple steps back, I was definitely gonna get stampeded. Probably not just by him, by him and all his friends. That wildness is the whole point. I mean, it's why we came. You know, we didn't just come to see horses. We came to see wild horses. But when you're getting stared down by a pony or kicked in the groin by a stallion, <laughs> that didn't happen to me. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. Or when you step in a big pile of horse manure. We didn't even talk about that. Or when you're trying to sleep in a bed that's full of gritty sand or you get bitten by horse flies or you take a bite of your salad and there's sand in that, it's really easy to have second thoughts. But there's things you can do to make it work better. I mean, you can bring your screens. Bring a screen house if you can. Don't leave the propane out. Don't leave the cooler out. Don't do what this woman did. It's kind of like this nomad thing. We're in this for the wild, right? 
and sometimes it just feels like it's wildly <laughs> inconvenient. You're probably going to have days where you feel like, boy, wouldn't it be great to just roll out of bed, jump in a hot shower, and flush a toilet instead of bagging up some poop. You might have times when the heater doesn't match the cold, or when it's so hot you don't have any place to escape to. And, you know, the, the bus does not always behave. But it's worth it for the wild. And we are so wild that we're going to spend some time sitting at a picnic table in this rest stop on the side of some freeway in New Jersey. Eat some lunch, get some work done. Who knows? Maybe we'll even spend the night here. Wild. In the meantime, I posted a new playlist, and it's basically just my favorites. It's the things that I'm the most proud of. Not necessarily the most views or anything like that, but the ones that... I sort of stand by the most at the moment. God knows, I'll probably find these cringy in a year. But right now, these are the videos I like. And here's the playlist. I hope you'll take a look at it. And um, I'm going to see you for another wild ride next time.